Hey guys, Colonel Dan today here. I just finished carrying up some groceries, so I may sound a bit tired and exhausted. But anyways, let's commence with this video. As you all know, the recent card, The Graveyard, has come out. And look at this. It unearths a gang of skeletons anywhere in the arena. Spooky. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I like how it gradually spawns skeletons. It doesn't just like spawn a freaking skeleton army on your tower, but it, you know, it's quite gradual. So um, yeah, it's skeletons over time in a fixed area, and I believe they can spawn anywhere in that area. So um, yeah, let me just here watch this. This guy had the princess, the miner, the golem, level five golem, which I, the golem's actually getting buffed nowadays. So. Yeah, I guess the Golem decks are pretty good, and the Graveyard, so let's just get into this battle, as you can see you already know the results, but I just want to talk to you guys about how the Graveyard is, is it OP or is it not? Yeah, clearly I won this video, but you know, some good users may find the Graveyard quite OP and you know, just use it for his own advantage, and he's just going to do the classic Golem in the back. The level 5 Golem, quite beefy, quite tanky, I'm just going to throw down my my hog rider he doesn't really have a direct counter to the hog rider which i find kind of strange um except the minions but that's next so i'm going to drop the mini pekka you know just get rid of that golem fast and here it comes the skeleton um sorry the graveyard so look it just man man that's pretty harsh um look at this the skeletons are just overwhelming the tower it doesn't give my tower enough time to react also, the tower was um, targeted on the golem, so you know I had to draw my archers and my spear goblins to counter that. But yeah, we will take out each other's towers. He probably took mine out more strategically than I took his, because I just threw in a, a hog rider that he couldn't defend. But anyways, you know we just both took down tower. We're even now. I was kind of forced to drop that goblin hut on the other side, but you know he's gonna push the other side anyway, so you know why not? Why not? So, let's see, I'm going to drop the Valkyrie in the back. I hear that a Valkyrie was... I, sorry, I hear that the Valkyrie is a good counter to the Graveyard, so I wonder if I should have just saved that for my Graveyard. You know, if it was going to come again. So, come on, Mini P.E.K.K.A. just getting that damage off. I have to zap those minions before they do too much work. And... Yeah, that, that, gol that Golem is going down. It's a Mega Minion, though, dealing lots of damage. But, I believe it gets taken down by my Spear, spear Goblins and... Again, I have to drop my goblin hut on the other side because of that annoying princess. So, the princess, you know, I have the card and I don't use it because I have a fixed deck, which, you know, this is, you know, it's pretty, you know, if I don't say so myself. I have to drop my Valkyrie to defend, and I believe he's going to drop the golem on the other side again. I don't know why he just tries to keep on three crowding me anyways. He has to zap my spear goblins. And he's going to send out Princess, which is not going to do much damage. The Hog Rider is going to get a few hits in, while I have to defend about um, at that Golem, which you know, luckily, thankfully, without the Mini Pekka, I wouldn't have any chance. That was a that was an amazing fireball. It took up so much value, and we're going to push the left side. Come on, we're going for that two crown. Um, the Spear Goblins is for a bit of um, offense, but he's absent. I don't know, that's kind of a waste of that in my opinion. Anyways, we have to drop the... Come on, come on. Look, Just look at that Hog Rider, man. A few hits off. This is pretty clutch. If I haven't took, taken that tower, I might have just lost my own tower here. Look at all those skeletons just spawning in that purpley, you know, purpley circle of the graveyard. Anyways, that's just look at the graveyard. As you can see, when my tower was targeted on the Golem, the graveyard actually did a very, very decent amount of work. So in fact, I bet you if it's used with a minor goblin barrel, anything like that, it would be pretty OP. I wonder how mirrored, um, mirrored skeleton, sorry, I'm, they're not skeleton armies, they're graveyards yet. Yeah, I wonder how mirrored graveyards would be right on top of each other. That might be pretty overpowered, you know, just in my opinion. Anyways guys, this has been Colonel Dan. Subscribe if you haven't already for these types of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Goodbye.